Yo, what's up guys? Lon Eagleton here. So I recently appeared in the new Black Veil Brides music video for Fields of Bone. And I used this custom bass strap that I made for the video. And today we're going to be selling it in this video. We're going to be donating the proceeds to charity. It's going to be a cool time. So if you're interested in seeing the process, stick around. Let's get started. All right, so here's the strap. It's really durable. These are the kind of straps I take out on tour with me. So it'll definitely last a lifetime, that's for sure. Other thing worth noting is I designed the stud pattern myself. So when I bought it, it was just black, but I put in these red and chrome studs so that it would match our outfits a little closer that we were wearing in the music video. And I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, it's a really cool strap in my opinion. It's definitely gonna be sad to see it go, but I'm sure it'll be going to a good home. And I'm really excited to uh, you know, see who decides to pick it up. All right, so I've made this listing in my store and I put this little collage together to kind of show what's going on. And to make it a bit more of an experience for whoever decides to buy it, I've decided to throw in the base pick that I used in the video, as well as a private 10 minute video chat with me. So we can meet whoever decides to buy it and uh, you know see their excitement about the whole thing. So uh, yeah, let's see if anybody's interested. Or maybe nobody will even want it, you know, maybe nobody will buy it. So let's see what happens here. Here we go. Publish. All right. The strap is now live. So let's put a tweet together to uh, let people know about it. Okay, how should we word this? So here's what I came up with. For sale now in my store, downwards arrow, base strap and pick used in the Fields of Bone music video plus private 10 minute Zoom chat with me. Only one available and then the link to my store and then I got the uh, photo collage of the pic and the strap and all that. So I think that depicts what's going on pretty well. So here we go. All right, it's up. Let the games begin. All right, the listing is live now, so we'll see how long it takes. I don't know how long it'll be. Could be anywhere from like 10 seconds to 10 months. I really have no way of knowing. So we'll see how uh, see how this goes. But I'll check back in with you guys as soon as it sells. Oh my god, someone just bought it. Okay, this is so exciting. Uh, so we've got to remove the ad here. That was actually so quick. And I'll delete the tweet. Okay, so awesome. Cool. You, ever, you never know how these things are going to turn out. So Daniel Schneider bought it. And Daniel is actually a member of the YouTube channel here. He is a uh, tier five supporter. So thank you so much, Daniel. And it looks like he's also bought the Sweet Blasphemy base tabs too in his purchase. So nice little bundle there. All right, well, that's uh, super exciting. So I'm gonna email him right now to set up this Zoom chat. All right, let's reach out. Hey, what's up, Danny? Thanks so much for purchasing my Fields of Bone package. Stoked it'll be going to a good home. I'll ship it out ASAP. Regarding the private Zoom chat, I look forward to it, etc., etc. All right, so I've emailed Danny to see when he's available for the Zoom chat and to thank him for the purchase. And he's just emailed me back. And he said, hey, Lonnie, would seven tonight work for you? So let's hit him back here. Hey, Danny, 7 p.m. tonight sounds great. I'll see you then. Looking forward to chatting with you. Talk soon. Boom. Cool. Stoked. All right, so let's touch base again tonight at 7 o'clock. We'll see you then. Okay, we're back and all ready to say hello to Danny. So let's head over to the Zoom chat now and see what's up. Danny. What's going on, man? Hey, how's it going, bud? Pretty good. How are you doing? Yeah, doing good. Doing good. Just nice. Chilling. Well, hey, man, let me just say uh, thanks so much for buying the strap. Um, I got it right here. If you want to take a look. Uh, yeah, dude, that's so, so freaking cool. <laughs> it, it's a neat one, right? It's got like yeah. the, I don't know if you saw the lightning bolt uh, holes in the in the photo. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I didn't notice they were like punched all the way through like that. That's, that's pretty unique. Yeah, it's kind of like an ACDC thing, sort of. So 
yeah have you been like in the market for a new strap or were you just like saw it and you thought it'd be a cool thing to, to own like i mean it's like kind of like rock and roll history in, in a sense oh absolutely it's like as you know i'm like a huge fan of the band i have been for a long time so having that, sure. that strap so in particular I. is gonna be a uh, fantastic <laughs> yeah yeah of course probably i think about as long as i have actually yeah. um but yeah i was actually looking for a new strap for my p base and that looks like it'd go pretty well with that nice cool well i'll be shipping it out probably tomorrow morning and uh maybe i'll use it in one of your videos one of your music videos in the future and then you can sell it to somebody and it'll just be like a a big cycle of selling the strap <laughs> <laughs> well it's actually what's funny is um in the music video for the song runaway that i showed you um yep. i was actually using a strap that jinx sent to me oh so it wouldn't be the first time i've used one of your guys' straps in a video <laughs> nice nice yeah you're getting quite the collection then just need a <laughs> need a jake one eventually how did you um how did you get the jinx one or what what was that from he actually uh, stuck it up on his depop and i think one day i was just like oh i need a strap for my jazz bass there we go got it <laughs> perfect so you got that for the jazz you got this for the precision and yeah uh, for sure you're all, all ready to rock so um yeah i just want to say thanks so much really appreciate that yeah and i guess just so everyone knows Danny is a is a musician too, and uh, he plays in a band called Grave Mistake, and uh, they're really awesome. Uh, I know our viewers are always looking for new bands to get into, so maybe you can tell us a bit about what you got going on with your band uh, these days, Danny. Yeah, definitely for sure. Um, over the last year or so, we've been recording our debut six song EP, uh, shooting a few music videos for it. Um, I can't exactly say when it's going to be released, but it's going to be. Well, as of right now, it's going to be within the next two or three weeks or so. And nice. um, yeah, we'll be dropping a few singles, a few music videos, full length EP. And then after that, we'll hopefully be playing shows like all over like the greater California area, pretty much. Nice. Yeah. And my buddy Matt Riley produced your guys' uh, songs, right? That is correct. Yeah. Yeah. So if, it, you know, if anyone's watching this on the, the YouTube replay, you might know my friend Matt Riley, who I interviewed, who plays bass with Avril Lavigne. So I interviewed him for my channel a while ago now, a few months ago. And anyways, he does production and he produced uh, the songs that we're talking about here. So yeah, small world, you know, we all, we're all at least just one step away from each other in the, in the music scene. No doubt. Yeah, you gotta love how tight-knit that music scene is. <laughs> and I gotta, sh on a totally unrelated subject, I gotta show you this. I, I just saw this today. And I don't even know why I'm showing you, but I'm just like super excited about it. So like, you know, this, <laughs> you know, this Eminem mug here, you might yes. have like seen it in some of my videos. <laughs> so like, it's got fan art now. Like, oh my gosh, dude. Someone like drew the Eminem mug. So <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> I know, right? So it's, it's like, I don't know. It's probably the highlight of my day. <laughs> Okay. I just saw that like like an hour ago, so I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> you know you've made it when you have fans making art of your mugs. That is fantastic. <laughs> that is like the best thing I've ever seen. I know. I know, right? I <laughs> Dreams do come true. <laughs> I know, man. Your mug is now art. It's fantastic. I feel like I need like replications of these to sell, but that would probably be a huge copyright lawsuit. So That would be. Okay, here's an idea for you here, man. <laughs> You got to like get something similar to that, but you got to like mold them off of yours and Rita's faces. <laughs> That'd be perfect. <laughs> or even like if yeah. it was this with like my Black Bear Brides makeup. There you go, man. Take I like that. M&M logo. Just brainstorming. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's let's talk about the, the strap a bit more. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> sure. I forgot. What bass did you use in that video? Was it like your Kestrel, your Kingfisher? Which one did you use? It was the Kestrel. The, nice. the PRS Kestrel. Yeah. I think I got it behind me. Oh no, that's my uh, that's my guitar. Yeah, it's good. That doesn't look like a bass. <laughs> no, that's that's my uh, CE24. Yeah. So in uh, the last one, Scarlet Cross, I used my uh, my like flat black Kingfisher. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And I used the gloss black Kingfisher in the playthrough, but then for the Fields of Bone stuff, I used the the Kestrel. Just thought I'd change it up a bit. Try to use a different one every time, just 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 for like a a fresh look, I guess. And that's kind of one of the the things that that this band does, anyways. Too Black Bill Brides, it's always like a new look for each era or each tour or whatever it is. You know, it's always 
we always try to change something up to some extent, whether it's doing red makeup instead of black makeup or, you know, different kind of jackets. And I, I think it keeps things fresh or different haircuts, even, you know, hair colors Absolutely. for that matter. It's <laughs> always just, <laughs> just trying to keep it fresh. Absolutely. And I think that's a huge part of like what makes Black Veil Brides as unique of a band as it is. Mm -hmm. Is like no two albums are the same, but they're always like, like the fan base is so diehard about everything that your band puts out that yeah, everything's like new and exciting every single time it drops something. Agreed. Yeah. And so I take it you've seen the video from this that the strap. Yes, was in? I have many, <laughs> many times. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that was kind of a dumb question. Of course you. Have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorry. I'm just goofing off here. <laughs> <laughs> I get you, man. I get um, you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, you 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 enjoyed it, I guess. Oh, absolutely. Nice. Oh, absolutely. It's, that's probably easily in my top three favorite songs out of a band, honestly. Oh, really? Wow. Just because well, it's, it, it stands out so much from some of the other older content while still managing to be an incredible, well-constructed song. And I think mm -hmm. that uniqueness to it is a lot of what ha what uh, what its charm is. For sure. Well, I mean, yeah, a lot of people seem to be really liking the new direction. Uh, I know I, I do. Anyways, Danny, uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure chatting with you here. And uh, yeah, thanks again for purchasing the, the strap. And just want to say thanks for, you know, supporting the YouTube channel in general and, you know, being a channel member and all that stuff and supporting the band. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. All right, Danny. Well, you have a good night and uh, we'll speak soon. All right, for sure. Sounds good, man. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video, and congrats to Danny on the new bass strap. Super stoked for you, man. Uh, it's going to be sad to let this go, but I'm glad to see it's going to a good home. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment, all that fun YouTube stuff. We'll see you in the next one.